Welcome to The Lounge Chair, where host Melissa Parsons imparts her wisdom and knowledge to transform mindsets by teaching listeners how to choose and control their thoughts. Find motivation to take control of your thinking and make lasting changes in order to build a solid foundation of self-awareness and healthy emotional balance. Transforming mindsets one thought at a time. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Lounge Chair Podcast. I am your host, Melissa Parsons. Your co-host, Shalonda Wills. And we are so honored that you tuned in to the podcast today. So today we're going to actually be talking about occupying your blessings. Now, I know for many of us, we think that when we hear blessings, we always think of Money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think Blessings that. is not all about money. What you got to say about that, Shalonda? It's absolutely not. It's not all about um, get, get, getting something, obtaining hmm. something. Um, uh, it's not all about just the everyday, you know, advances in life. It's about so much more than that. It's about opportunities. It's about just being blessed with talents, with gifts, being able to access uh, the different abilities, yeah. you know, being in the fullness of operating in the fullness of whatever our capacity is, you know, waking up is a blessing. You know, those things are gaining things, getting things are truly a blessing. But it's more than that, you know, God blesses us with more than just giving things, getting things, um, but he blesses us with the ability to also give out things, Amen. whether it be our talents, whether it be money, <laughs> whether it be materialistic or anything, or anything in that nature. But blessings, we have to realize in all areas, in all capacities, what our blessings are, where our blessings come from. And how do we fully, fully accept all of the blessings that we inherit, that we uh, obtain, that God grants us? And how do we fulfill and operate in those blessings as well? Does that make sense? That that is so good. (laughs) Absolutely. That is so good. You know, I was actually um, watching something on YouTube the other day. And it really perked my heart. It says in Genesis 1, uh, the fifth day of creation, God made the birds, etc. And then in Genesis 1, 26 to 28, it says, God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature so that they can be responsible for the fish of the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself and every animal that moves on the face of the earth god created human beings he created them god-like reflecting god's nature he created them male and female god blessed them Mm -hmm. prosper reproduce fill the earth take charge be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air for every living thing that moves on the face of this earth. So right there tells me, even in Genesis, it says that he blessed us before we ever did anything. <laughs> right. I mean, we, we got to think about that for a second. God blessed them, prosper, reproduce, fill the earth, and take charge. And that was from the message virgin. Uh, he, bl- <laughs> I mean, this just actually just blows my mind to just think about that because every single day we wake up, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. And a lot of people don't occupy their blessing because they don't live. Right. They right. just exist. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So how are you going to occupy your blessing if you're just going to exist? You can't. That goes back to a couple of podcasts ago. We were talking about command your morning. Right. You know, right. like that scripture you just read. Also, he blessed us with the ability to have authority, to speak those things, to operate in, in every decision, every opportunity or everything 
thought process that we make to command it. All right. Walk in it. You wake up and this is going to be an awesome day. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to walk in my calling. I'm going to do this business. I'm going to, you know, rise to this entrepreneur. You can do it. Yes. You've been blessed with that ability to prop, to be prosperous, to walk in authority, to say it with your trust, to be confident in any area that you want to possess, in any land that you want to possess, yes. in any employment, in any in, in any opportunity, whether it be employment, whether it be a hobby, whether it be any passion gift that you want to exude, Excellent. you have you've been blessed with the ability to operate in that power, in that blessing, in that space. Absolutely. So. To just want to exist, you are wasting your blessings away. Uh, who wants wasted mm. bless? Who wants to waste the abundance Absolutely. of what we've been or what we've been blessed with, what we've been giving before birth? Like you said, before we even did anything, yeah. we don't earn any of this, but we have the the authority and the backing, yes, and the strength to oper- to walk in that space in yes. that capacity. Yes. To the fullness thereof, right? Absolutely. Taking yeah. authority. Yeah. And it's we're not in even in our own strength if we're uncertain or um a little nervous because we're human and that, that doubt does sink sink in. But at the same time we have to be reminded that if he gave it to us, if he's blessed it with us, he's gonna ensure that we are guided in the right direction to fulfill it and for it to be prosperous. Absolutely. If that makes yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of people, um, even myself at one point, um, didn't know how to walk in my truth. Mm. <laughs> you know, I did not know how to walk in my truth. I did not know how to turn my pain and hurt as a transportation for my greatness. Whoa. Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> walk in your truth. And use your pain and hurt as transportation for your greatness. That's good. Wow. For your greatness. God, um, he had a plan. He has a plan and purpose for each and every one of us. Yes. And everything we need, he has already put it into existence. Mm-hmm. And I've said that several times. It's up to us to step out and get it. It's, up, it's, it's definitely up to us to... Um, bring that thing um, into the the um, um, the physical realm. Yeah. The physical realm. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I truly believe that. Um, also, I was looking at the scripture, Luke 11, 27 through 28, the message version. It says, while he was seeing these things, some woman lift her voice above the murmur of the crowd. Bless the womb that called you and the breast at which you nurse. Jesus commented, even more blessed are those who hear God's word and guard it with their lives. Mm. And even Proverbs 4.23, it says, above all else, guard your, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. It, I mean, that's based on our decision, our choices, um, the result of things that we feed our heart and our mind. Um, I mean, we have to put the right things into our heart and in and, and our minds. Um, I know so many people are loving stranger things. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I have nothing against it. That is just something that is totally not for me. That is not for me to... Um, have or open that door, you know, in my, in my house, Mm. because, uh, you know, we open doors and watch all these kind of, uh, different things on TV. We open doors to different spiritual realms, even though we're looking at these things, it's like, Oh, okay. So you're cool with, with these, with these spirits you watching on TV. Okay. No problem. Let's, let's bring them on in your house. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I pray even daily about, um, over the phones and TVs and everything, because even my, my, um, 
my son's uh, video games and all that kind of stuff because all of those things are like monsters mm-hmm. and you know and it's just like okay you're you're open the door to another dimension that you don't want in your home right you know what I mean and then people wonder why it's like I don't feel like I'm being blessed because it's just so many doorways that we open in our lives that we shouldn't be opening and another thing too a lot of us go out there and we try to get this and we try to get that. And we said that before about trying to hang with the Joneses. You can't go out and buy something and be like, okay, or do something and be like, okay, God bless this. Okay. Well, <laughs> first of all, we need to know, is that God's purpose and plan for your life? Because right. if, you're, if your will is not lining up with God's will, then guess what? You're being disobedient. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. God said that he would bless you, but there's also curses as well. Right. You know what I mean? So I, it... I mean, honestly, I truly believe that if we actually occupy our blessing um, by one of the most important ways is being grateful. Yes. Being yes. grateful. God, I am grateful for my house. Mm-hmm. I am grateful, oh God, uh, for my home, not my house. I'm grateful for my vehicle. It gets me to work every day. I am so grateful, God, that I have a job, that I'm able to pay all of my bills. Those are the things that God is looking for us to say, hey, God, I- I'm grateful. Mm-hmm. It's yours <laughs> anyway. Right. You know, but I- I'm I'm grateful that you have given it to me to steward over whatever it is that you've given me. Mm-hmm. So what you've given me, every single thing, we need to refocus. That's what I would say. We need to refocus our minds and understand and know that um, every day is a blessing. Yes. Every and day. not only that, what about the things that are unseen? Mm-hmm. What about the blessings that God had um, touched us and hit us from uh, things that we didn't see that, w- that was coming our way? You know, so God, thank you for the unseen things right, right. that you kept me safe from. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's so many things. I mean, it's a it's a process. We can't just jump in and say, OK, God, I want a million dollars. Go ahead. Send me that million dollars. Well, what are you going to do with that million dollars mm-hmm. first? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to buy me a car. I'm going to get me a house. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. OK, but hmm, where's God cut? He don't need it. Right. But it's the thought. Right. It's, it's our hearts. He wants to know what's in our heart. Right. You know, not only um, for us to be blessed, but for us to be a blessing. Mm-hmm. Be we stewards. have to bless people. Once you step out and start to bless people, blessings will start attracting to you. Mm-hmm. That's just the law of attraction, period. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the law. It has to come back to you. What do you got to say about that? Yeah, as you were talking, (laughs) I was just thinking about when you were saying um, somebody wanting the million dollars. God wants to know if you're going to be a good steward for what he's already given you. And that's speaking not only to our finances, but to everything he's blessed us with. Are you a good steward over your home? Yeah. Are you a good steward over the job that he did bless you with? Are you a good steward in in showing the light of, of him Christ likeness mm-hmm. in in every areas as a leader, yeah, as a mom, as a friend, as, as a as any type of capacity or any hat that you operate. How are you stewarding that blessing? Yeah, you mm-hmm. know how are you stewarding your life? Do you <laughs> make room for me? Do you make margin for him, not me, for God? Do you offer bring him in into your day? And mm-hmm. give it back to him? Or do you say, thank God. Thank you for this day. I'm going to go on about my business. You know, we may plan our steps, but God is the one who's orchestrating that thing. Yes. You know? And yes. so a lot of things, a lot of times we just have to take take a step back and just be grateful. Like, authentically grateful. Pour your hearts out and be like, God, if it truly wasn't for you, where would I be? Mm-hmm. You know, Absolutely. thank you for the trials. Thank you for the pain. Because like you say, it was a transportation to my destiny, mm-hmm. to where you're taking me. And a lot of times we shy away from the things that God is truly pushing us to. You know, what, what is yeah. your passion? Are we saying, what's my purpose, God? What, what do you truly want me to do? But what are you running away from? <laughs> what are you running? What is that one thing that you like? Yeah, no, that that's not God. Not saying that to me. For me, 
<laughs> it's mm-hmm. speaking. Mm-hmm. It's using my voice or using my ability to be a leader, mm-hmm. be right. one of help. You know, I am a right hand woman. I will hold you down on the sidelines, in the background. I'm singing in the background. I'll be working in the background. That is my that is my lane. <laughs> you need something done, I will have your back. I am a, a type A supporter. You know, I will support you from top to bottom, hands down. Um, but God is pushing me into out of the back. Yeah. He's pushing me out of hiding. He's <laughs> pushing me out of leaning on someone else, and it's it's scary. It and I always say, I'm not going. I'm not going to be no leader. I'm not. You know mm. what? <laughs> speaking. No. You see. You hear this list? But God is saying, Oh no! I'm. You most definitely be a leader. You most yeah. definitely will use your voice for my glory. You most definitely will walk in that thing that scares you the most. You know, and it it brings me back to James one seventeen. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Whatever, I don't want to say disability, but whatever thing or whatever glitch or whatever feel you have that is keeping you from moving or operating in, in, in the passion that you truly are running away from, God's got that taken care of. God said that very thing I will use for my glory. I will use for you to, you to operate in the blessing that I'm bestowing upon you, you know? And so to be where I am today, to be in free <laughs> of yeah. that stronghold, free of that, you know, thing that just tried to hold me back. I'm breaking barriers, yeah. breaking barriers, breaking strongholds, breaking generational curses of fear, timidness, and actually walk in the boldness. Why? Because I know God has my back. And if I'm truly operating in him, like I said, I'll be a fool for Jesus, Absolutely. you know, because I know in him, somebody's going to be blessed and he will restore and refresh each and every moment along the way. Yes. Amen. And, you know, um, just to piggyback off what you had said about, um, about running and about hiding. Um, I heard a motivational speaker. um, He said, stop running from hell and bring heaven here on earth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us, again, don't know how to do that as well. Uh, It says in in our Father's Prayer. um, But also, I also want to just say, we need to study the things that we want. I mean, literally, you could, you know, you could actually experience peace here on earth, experience peace right now where you are, regardless of what hell you're going through. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the kind of peace that surpasses all understanding. And that peace comes from God. So if that's something that you need right now, you know, if you're going through something and you need peace, study peace. If you're going through um, unforgiveness, study um, study forgiveness. That's good. Um, if you're going through, uh, if you need grace, study grace. Or if you need to give someone grace, study grace. We really need to learn how to refocus one thought at a time and one day at a time. We truly, truly do. Um I mean, like studying peace and all those things that you want will attract to you if those are the things that you know you need. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some people out here like right now It's, I mean, oh, my God, this world. I'm I'm praying. I'm praying for it. All the mass shootings that's going on right now. And we're, we're on here talking about occupying your blessings. Yes, because you need to know that even outside of all of this stuff that's going on, God is still a God that has mercy and that has grace for us, for us. I mean, those are gifts to us. Right. He blessed us before he even put us here on this earth. Right. <laughs> 
Right. Bring out your inner diamond here at Diamond District Beauty, where we offer multiple clean beauty products made with all natural ingredients, free from harsh toxins and chemicals. Our products not only look good on you, but are good for you. Join our Diamond Club today on our website for early access to new exclusive member sales and discounts. You can join today at www.diamonddistrictbeauty.com and receive 30% off your first purchase. Let us help bring out your inner diamond here at Diamond District Beauty. We offer all natural clean beauty products, free from harmful toxins and chemicals, designed to not only look good on you, but also be good for you. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, um, I may not see um, what he's doing behind the scenes, but I know he's working. Right. right. You know, I know he's blessing me. You know, I may not um, receive what I asked for, but was it his will for me to have? You know what I mean? We get things a little bit too soon um, and our characters can't hold it. Exactly. Exactly. It, it really can't. Exactly. So I want to be in, in while I'm waiting for this blessing, um, this big blessing to happen, which I know is going to happen. And we talked about it before I even got here. We, before we start this podcast, which I know is going to happen in the, in the midst of that, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. I'm praising. Yeah. I'm worshiping him. I'm magnifying him. We are supposed to praise him. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to do. Put no other God before him, nothing. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's what I had to do. I had to, I had to get down on my knees. I had to pray to him and I had to be grateful for what he's already provided. Mm -hmm. If he does not do another thing, he has done enough. Absolutely. He has Absolutely. done enough. And I am just so grateful um, for his grace. I'm grateful for his mercy. I'm grateful that I can extend that and give it to other people. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. That is a blessing. So many of us are holding on um, to guilt, holding on to guilt, holding on to shame. And it's a battle. Yeah. It's a battle between the flesh and the spirit. We're not supposed to hold on to those things. Mm -hmm. So when we hold on to them, we're being disobedient. And then we're wondering why. Well, Lord, uh, I wanted that car, but I didn't get it. But wait a minute. He's not a genie in a bottle. Right. right. He don't just give what you say. If you... If you don't go through a process of getting something, you wouldn't need them. Why? Why Why would you need them? If he give you every single thing that you've asked for, and trust me, because when we get things, we still not satisfied. Still not satisfied. The next. We always want the next. The next. We get a, we get a raise. Well, uh, I want to get my next more. one. Right. Where's my next one? Right. You're thinking in your mind, where, when am I going to get that next one? Okay, right. it took me two years to get this one. When am I going to get that next one? I hope it ain't going to be two years. And then you start going back and forth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all probably shocked I said it, but yes, I did. Because sometimes you just need to tell your mind to shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> because it's going to be okay. Mm hmm God doesn't need our help. He really does not need our help. You know, he has given us freedom of choice. And I just want to be obedient. And this is the reason why I even started the podcast, because I knew that I needed to do something. And I know God was calling me um, to the forefront. And he was saying, no more hiding. Mm -hmm. The hiding is over. Mm -hmm. It's over. I am now 48 years old Ooh. and hiding is over. It is time for me to come to the forefront, even at my jobs, all of the jobs. I've done a lot of work and I'm not saying nobody else did anything. That's not what I'm saying, but I've done a lot with I've done work that I wasn't even asked to do. Put it that way. But God had used me to be where I was. And I was like, OK, God. I know that this is not it, but he told me it's a stepping stone to where I'm going to take you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes we feel as if, OK, God, you know, this job, you know, I'm sick and tired of this job and this and that and that and this. And you know what? God can handle all your complaining and 
I can't, but <laughs> uh, sometimes I get tired. Have you ever gotten tired of just hearing yourself complain yes. sometimes? Yes. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, y'all, <laughs> but I'm just trying to be funny, really. But I sometimes get so sick and tired of hearing myself complain. I've noticed one thing, and I know this is off subject, but I know that I could be around someone, even at my job, and they're complaining and then uh, and then next thing you know, an hour later, I'm starting to do it. Right, the same right. Thing. The energy. Uh, and I'm like, energy. wait a minute. Oh, my God. You know, because you start to pick up yeah. things from yeah. other people. Yeah. I mean, but that's just how it is. Right. Um, sometimes you just feel in your mind or you, you look at your family and be like, oh, my God, where where is the blessings at? What, what is going on? Why am I even born into this family? We broke. We just poor. What is, <laughs> what is going on? We broke. <laughs> You don't have to stay that way. Nope. You nope. really do not have to stay that way. Uh, God did not make us to be just couch potatoes. Nope. nope. He did not. He did not make us to be couch potatoes. Yeah, we are people um, that grow from knowledge mm-hmm. and wisdom. Mm-hmm. And reading does that. Yes. What you feed will grow. What you feed will grow. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it goes... Back to just training your mind, renewing your mind, rebuilding your mind. Whatever your mind is set on, that is the direction that you're going to go. So if we're dwelling on God's promises, if we're just dwelling on just his goodness, you know, it's 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 okay to have those moments of complaining because, you know, we get overwhelmed. We get endowed with our everyday life. But at some point, it should just be able to take a moment and say, but I'm here, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm still standing. This feeling that of blindness that I'm feeling, God, you're still great. You're still good. You're still good. You're still above all. You still reign. You are still making yes. provision in my life, even right now, Lord God. So God, I just give it to you. It is something that stares up in your in your spirit that says, "Yes, I may be having a moment, but God, we have to renew our minds and keep it." Stay, stayed on him, you know, think, so, think those things as though they are, speak those things as though they are, and just think on the goodness of Jesus and who he is. A friend of mine used to tell me, what, for every negative thought that you have, have 10 grateful ones. Yes. You know, so that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot around us that we can absolutely be grateful for and not even just the mundane of the things of, you know, I wake up, I'm here, but just the I have breath in my life. God, you're providing even in my choices that I don't make the right ones. Yeah. You know, he makes provision for our mess up when we get in the way, when we get impatient, you know, and at the end of the day, it's just solely believing in him. Faith without works is dead. We have to mm-hmm. believe in him. We have to trust him. But we also got to do the work. Yes. You know, where, what do you want? It's one thing to ask for something. It's one thing to ask for us to occupy in a space a blessing. Yes. But what are you going to do to truly fulfill and sustain that blessing where you're living in the abundance that he has ordained us to be in? Amen. You know, so just have our minds just stayed on him. It, it really is a mind thing, a, a spiritual realm of just basking. I love that word, just basking in the goodness of God and his grace and his mercy and the mere fact of his promises of abundance. Yes. His promises of these blessings. We don't even deserve it. <laughs> we don't deserve it. We come into this world blessed, predestined. Yes into the purpose that he is calling us in. So what purpose is he calling you in? If you know, occupy that mm-hmm. to the maximum extent, you know, yes. and, and do it unto him, not just to be famous or not just to say, oh, I'm doing this. No, do it unto the glory of God because your reward will be in him. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. I agree right there with you, sis. Um, I believe remembering who God is and how he has answered our prayers in the past helps us Mm -hmm. change the trajectory of our lives. Mm -hmm. 
Remember what he has done for you in the past. The same God back then, the same God right now. God has not changed. He loves every single one of us. He wants us all to prosper. He wants us all to walk into his blessings, to occupy his blessings um, by, number one, being very grateful, Mm -hmm. paying attention to to, um, what we are grateful puts us in a positive frame of mindset immediately. Yeah. Immediately, it changed everything. It changes everything. Um, but we have to be fruitful so that more fruit can grow on our limbs of our trees so that we can just spread all over the place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, so we, we no longer have to post like fake posts on social media. <laughs> You know, making it look like our lives are already like the movies or something like that. (laughs) I I, I sit back and I look. And now don't get me wrong. I'm not, you know, saying anything bad about social media. But for me, it's just a waste of my energy. It's just a waste of time. It's like you're sitting there and you watch it. Okay, I'm I'm glad that you feel good this week. But how did you feel last week or the week before? Don't show don't show me that your life is all of this beautiful stars and lights and flashing lights and you know you're doing good and this and that and but you don't post anything about when you're doing bad. You, you know what I mean? Right. Other people need to hear hear that story. How right. did you get through? Right. You know, we need to learn how to really share our testimonies to um, to each other. Iron sharpens iron, yes. like we always says. It's in the word, right? So, and and I remember even before uh, you and I had got on here, and I was like, just you know, talking to the enemy and telling him he's a liar. Mm-hmm. He is a liar. Mm-hmm. Every time I'm ready to sit here to do the podcast, it's just like. So many doubts and so many things that tries to pop in my mind. But you know what? I, I still put on this, 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 pull up this microphone and mm-hmm. set everything up and we still go forth right. and do what we need to do because it's not for us. Right. You know, it's not for us to just um, hold in the experiences that we had in life. Mm-hmm. It's, it's to help other people. Yes, we are blessed. Absolutely, Absolutely, we are blessed. If God never does another thing, we are blessed. Mm-hmm. Um, we're here, alive, hearts beating. We are blessed. We went to work today, worked my eight and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are blessed. He protected me as I, I, I've come here um, to your home to do the podcast. I am blessed. Yeah. Thank you, God. For getting me here safely. Thank you, God, for allowing me to speak to your people. Thank you, oh God, that you're using me, yes. God, me, someone who was so fearful, someone who um, didn't think that I had a voice. You chose me. Yes. And I sit back and I think and I look in the Bible and how he chose Moses and all the other people that had issues or problems. He chose them. You know what I mean? He chose them. He he would go out and he would pick someone who's um, addicted to uh, drugs or someone who's addicted to alcohol. It's like he 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 chooses them. Yes. He loves each and every one of us. But are we willing to do his will? Mm. Are we willing to um, pick up the phone and call someone we haven't spoken to in so long to ask them how they're doing. That's a, that is a blessing to somebody else to pick up the phone and talk to them, especially mm-hmm. if they're elderly. Right. I'm just saying it's, right. it's a blessing to them. It's a blessing to run to the store and grab some groceries or something for our neighbor. You know, Hey, I'm ready to run out to the store. Is there something that you need? I can pick it up for you. I mean, it's, you can say, Hey, you know what? I feel like I want to treat you and your family to dinner today. Tell me what you want. I will go ahead and order DoorDash or somebody and order you food. I mean, those are things that you can do to bless people. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. spoke before. Um, my husband actually, 
Uh, when he mows our yard, he mows the neighbor's front yard along with us. We don't go in the backyard, but he does the front yard for them. That's a blessing to them. Yeah. You know, I mean, we can do things. I mean, if you want more blessings, bless somebody. Mm-hmm. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't be keeping it all for yourself. Stop being so greedy. You know me. I tell the truth. I will speak my truth. I will tell you. Shalonda is the nice one. (laughs) (laughs) Also, just to piggyback off of that, um, bless someone, but also receive those blessings. Yes. Don't turn a blessing away. Oh if somebody God. wants to, like you said, cut your grass or somebody wants to buy your groceries, and I'm speaking to myself, <laughs> receive the blessing. Don't be so prideful mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and throw your blessings away. It's okay, it's okay to be going through something and somebody wants to bless you. Yes. It's okay to feel like nobody sees you or nobody, you know, is there for you. Yes, they are. Yes. And when they come to bless you, let them bless you. Absolutely. You know, I had an issue with that. Um, I always was the person that would be a blessing to someone else. But when they wanted to bless me, I would turn it down. Mm -hmm. And I had said one day um, I was this is many years ago. um, I wasn't working. I had a baby and um, there was this Christian uh, seminar that they were having and I wanted to go and I really didn't have the money to go. So of course I let them know. Um, of course I got in free and the pastor's mother wanted to bless me to give me $20 to get lunch. And mm-hmm. I was like, Oh no, no, that's okay. She was like, take this money. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I took the money and I was like, thank you, Jesus. And then someone else came to me and was like, okay, here's $20. I was like, oh no, no, no. Somebody already, already gave me $20. She's like, oh, so since somebody else blessed you, I can't bless you too. And I was like, oh, 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 okay. You know what? Thank you so much. And now I got $40. (laughs) And I was just as happy as on a what, because it was like, when you think no one sees you, they do. They truly, truly do. Um, if they don't, then you might not be right around the right people. But right. Um, yeah, I'm going to be loving and kind. I'm showing grace, y'all. Yes. But um, <laughs> no, seriously, though, um, I w- it was so hard for me to receive um, a blessing. Mm-hmm. But it was like, OK, well, how is God going to bless me if I'm he'll he'll use people to bless you. Right. And then. You're looking for $50. I said, Lord, I need $50 to go on this trip. I don't have this money. And somebody said, hey, girl, how you doing? They talking to you. I ain't seen you in church in a while. Seen you in a while. Da, 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 da. It's like, yeah, da, 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 da. So you know what? God told me to bless you. No, I can't take mm-hmm. that. No, thank mm-hmm. you. I can't. I appreciate it, but I really can't take it. Well, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> God sent that person to bless you. Exactly. You asked for the money. He sent it to you, but then you you didn't want it. And Your pride stopped be- you disobedient yeah disobedient you're forcing Mm -hmm. them to be disobedient Mm -hmm. and not be able to operate in in their calling and in what they needed to do right if god put that on that person's heart god may needed them to do that for them to get their breakthrough right right you know and i'm guilty of it too um but i'm now on a journey of, of understanding that this is bigger than me and I really got to sit pride to the side. Yes. You know, Amen. Is we're blessed to be a blessing and it's a cycle that it's a great cycle that God has his people in because we are all hands and feet of Jesus for not only those in need, but even for our family and our community. So yeah. accepting mm-hmm. blessings as they're, given, as they're giving out these blessings. All right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Occupy your blessing, y'all. Yes, you yes, know what? Yes. Do what you, do what you got to do. Um, again, if you got some things that's in your heart, you know, study that thing. Mm-hmm. You know, study about it. Don't just sit there and let it eat away at you. Yes. Learn about it. You know, um, see why people do the things that they do. You know, hurt people hurt people. Yeah. We all know that. So, you know, God has shown us grace and we have to show other people grace. And uh, the biggest thing um, people struggle with, and I know I struggled with as well, was giving myself grace. Giving myself grace. Yeah, if I couldn't accept good. it from Christ, how can I give it to somebody else? Mm-hmm. He's given it to me freely. That's his law. Yes. Grace and mercy is his law. Mm-hmm. So definitely, you know, 
if, if you're wondering how to occupy your blessings, uh, listen to this podcast. I'm telling you, it is truly a blessing. Um, this is definitely uh, straight from God. Uh, if you only knew, <laughs> if you really only knew, yeah. Um, but you know what? We're we're just going to be um, faithful, yeah, and true, and and worship Him and um, truth and in spirit, uh, just as He has asked us to do. Um, we definitely want to just let everyone out there know that we truly, truly love you. Yes. We thank you so much for listening and tuning into our podcast. You can always find us on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, WordPress, and our new venture, podvine.com. Hey, and meow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Have a good one. Thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of The Lounge Chair. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show so they too can build a solid foundation of self-awareness and healthy emotional balance. We really appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next episode.